Start by securing your thread to the hook, and then wrap your thread back to the bend of the hook. Once you're there, snip off the excess thread. Next, we're going to secure down the copper wire. That's going to be the rib of our fly. Secure down the copper wire, and because it's thick, we're going to secure it down throughout the length of the shank to keep the body consistent. Both the tail and the body are going to be made out of marabou. The length of the tail is roughly the length of the shank of the hook. Secure that down right at the bend of the hook, and once it's secure, pull out the material, and then bring your thread three quarters of the length of the shank forward. Now begin to wrap your marabou forward, creating the body. The natural fibers of the marabou should stick out just a little bit, giving your body a nice texture as you wrap it forward. Once you've wrapped it forward and secured down the marabou, snip off the excess. Now it's time to bring your rib forward. A nice even tapered rib is what we're looking for here, with enough space so that we can still see the marabou. And once you've reached the front of the fly, secure down the copper wire and then snip it off with the backs of your scissors. Next we're going to add the collar. The collar is also made out of marabou. Select a few fibers and then secure them down so that the tips of the marabou are slightly past the length of the shank. Once you've got the collar where you want it, secure down the fibers and then snip off the excess. Now add a few more wraps at the head of the fly just to really secure it all down. Once it's all nice and secure, whip finish and then snip off the excess thread and you have yourself a damsel nymph.